This is a lesson about percentage inclusive and percentage exclusive. Let us start first of all by if the percentage is not included and we want to increase an amount by a certain percentage. Say for instance you are going to a store and you want to buy an item where the price of that item is 1,000 rand. Now say for instance the store tell you that this price is that exclusive. In other words, the VAT has not been included yet. The VAT has not been included as, as a percentage yet. What will you do if you need to go and calculate the VAT on that 1,000 Rand? It is a simple calculation where we simply say, remember VAT is 14%, 14 over 100 multiply by 1,000 Rand, and we see then that the VAT payable is 140 Rand. So, the cost price of the article is 1,000 Rand. The VAT is 140 Rand. So, if I now want to know what is it that I have to pay for that article, you have to add the two amounts. You have to add the 140 Rand to the 1,000 Rand and you will end up paying 1,140 Rand for that item. One way of doing it is by first calculating the VAT and then adding the VAT to the cost price or what you are, uh, the price of that article. Another way to do it is to go and directly say, if I take my 1,000 Rand that I have to pay for the item and I want to add that, I can multiply it by, and when I multiply, I do these two steps in one. I take the 100% because 1,000 Rand is 100%. That is what I have to pay for the article. Then on top of that 100%, I must add my VAT. So I add to my 100%, I add my VAT percentage. And that means that I then have a total of 114% that must be calculated on top of the 1,000 Rand. So instead of now first multiplying by 4, 10 over 100, and then adding the amount, I can simply go and I can multiply by 114 over 100 and you will see if I do that, let's look on the calculator, I get the 1140 Rand that I was supposed to get. Exactly the same as in the first, uh, as in the first case. Let's go back here. Can you see? The answer is the same. So instead of doing it in one, two steps, I did the whole calculation in one big step. Okay, I multiplied by 114 over 100. Now, if we are going to do the reverse calculation, in other words, let me do this again. But now I'm going to make it that the VAT is included. So, Let's look at that inclusive. The same calculation, but that inclusive. Let's say, for instance, you come to the store and the purse and you want to buy something and you read on the price tag that the price tag uh, says that the price of that item is 1,140 Rand. That is already included. Now somebody asks you, what did this item cost then without VAT? Okay, I'm going to do now the reverse of what I did the previous time. So 
in this case, what was given was 1,140. So I start with my 1,140, and now I divide by 114, and I multiply by 100. If I do that on the calculator, you will see I have my 1,000 rand back again. The price of the article without VAT. Okay? I had the price of the article in the beginning. It was 1,000 rand. I added the VAT. I saw it was 1,140 rand. Now I'm working backwards. I gave you the price of 1,140 rand. I said to you that VAT was already included. So I want to know what fraction of this price is then going to be for VAT. Let us just review again, where did the 114 come from? Remember the price of the article is 100% and the VAT is an additional 14%. So to get the 114, we simply take the full 100%, which is the price of the article, and we add the additional amount, which is going to go for VAT, giving me the 114%. Okay, let us then just summarize regarding VAT exclusive, excluded and VAT which is already included. If the VAT is in excluded, in other words, you must still add it to the price. What we do is, remember, the price is 100%, the VAT is 14. We add the 100 and the, 100 and the 14, we get 114. So we take the price, we multiply by 114 over 100. If the percentage has already been included in the amount that you are given. And you must now be able to calculate what is the price without the VAT. The price without it. What do we do then? We are going to take out then the amount which is given to us will be taken and we are going to do the opposite of what we did in the plus. But in the past, we're going to say 100 divided by 114, 114, where the 114 is still 100 plus um, 14. Just to give you an idea, it does not have to be always about 14%. It can be that a question is given to you where they say, for example, the cost price of an article is 500 rand, and this price includes where there is already a 5% profit for the shop owner. The question is now, what is the price of the article before the 5% was included? If I'm going to do that, you ask yourself, was the 5% included? Was the 5% not included? And in this case, we can see, we want to go and find out what, the price, the 5% is included. It is included. So we want to do the reverse calculation. In that case, we will work with the 500 rand what is given to us. If we now want to work out the total percentage, in this case, we will say 100 plus 5%. So we will work with 105 and now not with 14 because the, price, the percentage here given is 5%. And we will do the reverse calculation where we will then go and say the amount and we will say multiply 100 and we will divide by that percentage, um, the total of the 100% plus the percentage that was already included. So giving us the reverse percentage calculation.